Hey guys, it's uh, Damage Step Inc. You already knew that. You did it. Uh, here is our contest video. If you don't know what the contest video is, please refer back to the video that's called Contest Information uh, and all that. Uh, read the rules and uh, then come back to this video, restart it. We'll say hello again because you know you're restarting the video. And then you can see this scenario. So, this is the scenario. How many times have you been matched up against this board and you thought to yourself, I am completely fucked. Let's scoop it up. Let's go to game two where I'll get brutally beaten again. However, we are here to show you that this don't, is not don't give up hope. an impossible field. Don't give up. Never give up. So, like we said, we will give you everything that you need. These are the back row. That's, this, this is your field. This is your opponent's field. <clears throat> your opponent has 5,800 life points remaining. Okay? You did a solemn warning and a sparks. <laughs> <laughs> your main deck one sparks. <laughs> or the one that does 200, whatever. Anyway, That's so funny. he has, for, the, for this purpose, he has 5,800 life points remaining. Okay, well, let's get into everything, right. card-wise. This is your hand. This is is your hand. One Reborn Tango. One Miracle Synchro Fusion. We'll have links to all the cards and what they do in the description. And one Unknown Synchron. That's your hand. To really, you know, eliminate the, confusion. This is a limited extra deck. Yes. You're lucky we're not giving you a full 90-card extra deck. One Scrap Archfiend, one Mistworm, one Arcanite Magician, one Supreme Arcanite Magician, mm. and one Trishula, Trish, Trishula, Dragon of the Broken Barrier. Back this row. is your back row. One Call of the Haunted, one Compulsory Evacuation Device. And this card is a return of the different dimension. Uh, all of ours got lost in a uh, in a barn fire, so uh, we didn't have one to use. But this is a return of the different dimension. I will have a link in the video embedded. If you don't know what that card does, quit the game. Um, this is the graveyard. This is your graveyard. It is one Gen X Blast fan. Once again, damn barn fires. Keep killing our cards. No, we seriously can, couldn't find uh, one of these anywhere. We don't even have one. Have you ever heard of it? It's a Gen X Blast Fan. It's a Hidden Arsenal one. Zero card. Two. Um, again, a link will be there so you know exactly what it is. And this is the rest of your deck. Three Gen X Ally Birdman. And two Reborn Tengu. Alright. So that's what you have to beat this motherfucker using Samurais that you're facing. Now this is his side of the field. This is his side of the field, all right. All right. One Shien, Legendary Six Samurai Shien. One Legendary Six Samurai Kaizen, Kizan, whatever you want to call it. Uh, two, actually, sorry. And one Grandmaster of the Six Samurai. His back row, the always annoying Musakani Magatama, and the other annoying card, Double Edge Sword Technique. And um, just be mindful when you're going through this to play it like a skillful Yu-Gi-Oh player would play it. When there's a destruction effect that would put him in jeopardy of losing important cards, uh, we would recommend that you activate the effect, the appropriate effect. Uh, for example, with Double Edge Sword Technique, if his monster count goes below four, and he is able to use double-edged sword technique. We recommend that you use it. If you cannot, then obviously you cannot. It's not you use it, that you assume that your opponent would use it. Right. Assume that your opponent is a skillful Yu-Gi-Oh player that knows when to use his cards correctly, which he probably doesn't because he's a six samurai faggot. And, um... You know, go from there. Don't assume that your opponent is going to misplay and that's what's going to get you to win. This is, you're using the cards that you have 
And if your opponent plays it like he should, you still should be able to win. You still will be able to win. Um, so, yeah, just keep that in mind. Sheehan, obviously, I mean, there's not really much options, but Sheehan negates, you know. Sheehan does needs, have his negate. Yeah. You know? He, he can negate. Right. He does have his negate left. He does have his effect. Um, and this is his graveyard. One Kagamusha. One Kageki, obviously, to make Sheehan. One Six Sam United and one Solemn Morning. The sparks, it flew away. Yeah. Uh, but don't worry. Like I, like we said, 5,800 life points. It's your turn. You drew already. You this, is, yes. this is what you have. This is what you have at your disposal. You're sitting here. You're thinking. You're saying, what am I going to do? All right. Scoop it up. No, wait a second. I have a play. So, there it is, guys. There you go. You guys have fun. A uh, little announcement. Uh, like we said in the video explaining all this, uh, the first three video responses will get $10 binder money to use, you know, you can use it whenever you want. Um, then from four to 10, we'll get channel shout outs. Uh, we're gonna change that a little bit. We're gonna make it, if you can correctly, you know, do it in a message. Uh, Lay if, it out if, in if you, it, it, yeah, step if, by steps, don't, you know, Make it a crossword puzzle, please. Right. Step by step, legible. If you're typing the word U, don't type the letter U. Type Y-O-U. Uh, so we can read, you know, what the hell is going on. If you don't have access to make a video response, you could definitely send us a message, like we said, step by step. And um, in case we don't get three correct video responses, we will then go to the first received messages, and they will get the cash. So don't fret if... You don't have a camera or cannot make a video. Send us a message anyway, and at the end, we will have a big video with all the shoutouts. There they are again. You know, they they might be the next team members. I don't know. Eat your lettuce. So there it is. So anyway, here is the contest. Have fun. Uh, do your math. Do your math homework before doing this. You know, I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want your teachers calling Damage Step Inc. and saying my student was fucking around doing this shit and I'm going to say sorry Mrs. Studebaker I don't know what your student's doing so alright anyway it's about 15 steps there's your clue yeah there's your clue give or take about 15 steps know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh and you should be able to do it it's not hard alright like I said I'm not putting link for this card in the description okay you should know what it does <laughs> I'm out